expanding brackets. So expanding brackets involves multiplying something out the front of a bracket into everything inside. So let's look at three times two plus four. So here I could do, if I was doing my order of operations, I'd do two plus four first, which is six, and then I get three times six, which is 18. Let's look at another way to do it. Three times two plus four. What about we try timesing the three by the two first? So we get six, and then if we try adding the four, we get 10, and that's no good. This time, let's try three times two plus four. Let's try timesing the three by both things first. Three times two is six, plus three times four is 12, and six plus 12 is 18. And that's the same as the answer we got before. So this is what we call expanding brackets. When we have a term outside the front, which we're multiplying, we times it by everything inside the brackets, and then we can add them together. And we're gonna use this in algebra. Let's have a look at three times x plus four. The reason it's handy in algebra is because inside here, if we're doing order of operations, we'd have to do the brackets first, but these aren't like terms, so they can't be added. So there's not much else we can do. But if we use our expanding brackets, where we take the term out the front and multiply it by every term inside, we can write this a little nicer. We can do three times x, which is three x. Then we can do three times four, which is 12. Now, when we expand brackets, we don't write the multiplication in between the term out the front and the bracket. So it means the same thing as two times everything in this bracket. And we're gonna go two times x, then two times this positive a. So two times x gives us two x, then two times the a, gives us positive 16. Let's look at another one. Four outside of x minus five. So we're gonna do four times x and four times the negative five. Four times x gives us four x and four times the negative five gives us negative 20. So you have gotta be careful, especially when there's negatives inside the bracket or outside. One more. Minus six outside of x minus seven. This time we've got a minus term out the front. So when we multiply, we include the minus term with the six. So it's negative six times x, which gives us negative six x. Then we've got negative six times negative seven. And a negative times a negative gives us a positive, and six times seven is 42. So we've got to be extra careful when there's two negatives we're multiplying together because we get a positive.